How's practices been looking um, since you've been able to get going a couple of weeks ago? And how, mu how much different is it this year than uh, any other year? Practice practice has been good so far. I mean, we've uh, we've strung a lot of good days together. We've uh, it's been it's been different in the fact that we just we come every day to compete, have fun, um, learn, and listen. Like uh, it's a lot. It's a, it's a combination of a lot of things. I mean, uh, the fact that we're we're coming, we're listening, we're we're getting through plays and stuff, and then when it's time to compete, we're competing, we're doing it the right way, running offense the right way, playing defense the right way. You and Nigel are the three-point leaders behind the arc right now in practice and live action. Um, how's how's it been shooting the ball for you so far? Yeah, I mean, uh, so far we we've shot the ball well, but it, it 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 goes way beyond just me and Nigel. I mean, Dejuan has really really shot the ball well too. Selton, Antonio, I mean, Rudy. We like we got a lot of guys that could really shoot the ball. I mean, uh. The numbers might show so far in practice for me and Nigel the most, but we really got a, a bunch of people that can make shots on our team. Mike, uh, Coach talked about kind of your just your leadership ability and what you've brought to the table here so far this season. I was just curious, your mindset uh, as, as a leader this year and, and what you're trying to uh, show the rest of the guys. My mindset is just I, I'm, I've been I've been in college for three years, so I've, I've been able to see the good and the bad of college basketball. In all honesty, and so I, I've just I'm trying to take what I know from the good and really spread it to the rest of the team. I mean, I got the greatest teammates I could ask for. They're like really good people. They work hard. They all listen to the coaches. They're all coachable. So I mean, I'm blessed to have teammates like this. And I mean, I just try to help them, show them by example, but they're, they're learning fast, a lot of them. And it, I know last year maybe kind of left a, a bit of a sour taste in your mouth and everything, but it seemed like you guys were really turning a corner uh, and starting to play some really good basketball, and then all of a sudden it all stops and you don't get the opportunity to finish out your year. I was just curious, uh, you know, how that weighs on you or if it's maybe a motivator for you this season. Yeah, that definitely happened at the end of last year. I mean, it, I mean, it's it's a motivator because we we always knew last year that we we could we had a lot of talent. But last year's in the past. We learned from it. Everything happens for a reason. Now it's just the mindset that it's a new team, new group, and we're just coming every day to work hard and get better. And then just uh, you you obviously have had probably a chance to look at the schedule, but to see how everything was thrown together last minute and still get some pretty solid opponents in there. Uh, are there some games maybe that you're looking forward to already now that you have a date on the schedule? Right now I'm really looking forward to Drake. I mean, that that's all. I mean, we got, we got a, a lot of good opponents, but right now the focus is on getting better every day and then it's going to be Drake and then it will be the next opponent. But right now we got to string days together. We can't look ahead to the season because – the import, most important day is today, in all honesty. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Mike, somehow you've become the old man on this roster. Um, it seems like you were just a freshman. Uh, give me your breakdown of some of these young guys that we haven't seen yet. Man, I mean, it. it it's it's the young guys, but – it's the returners, too, in all honesty. Like, Dejuan's really turned himself into a much better player. Antonio has really improved his game. Selton, this is a, Selton a freshman, but he's a, he's an animal. He's a dog. He's going to play hard. It's going to uh, – then we got our big men, Davion Casey. Two, two real – like, two real, like, big bodies that play hard, move well, learn, listen, can catch, can finish. I mean, I don't want to miss anybody, but, like, we, we got a lot of good players. Nigel could really shoot, could really score. Rudy, good point guard, strong. I mean, who else am I missing? You know, Montavia is strong, could play defense. We got – and plus we got uh, two people that are injured right now in uh, Luke and Carlton that 
who knows when they'll be back. But they're, they're two – I've seen them both play. They're two really good players too. So, I mean, I, I don't want to miss anybody, but I'm, so, I'm just so excited for the team we got. Yeah, how is that process of putting together a team going? I mean, the coaches did a great job recruiting – did a great job getting everybody together and uh they got the right people the right everybody's got the right mindset i feel to uh improve every day and get better and work hard so man it's just been a lot of fun so far one final thing for you before we turn to dejuan uh how was he as a leader he we he showed some um indications of being a leader last year but now with not many upperclassmen in this program how is he stepping forward Dejuan, Dejuan stepped forward in, in a huge way. I mean, when I tell you someone who comes every day and really just work, works really hard, competes every day, and it's like he, he's, got, he's got great energy, great fight, and it's, it's contagious when, he, when, he's, when he's, like, coming to practice and cheering every, everybody on and encouraging everybody. It gets other players going. It gets his team going. And usually we're on opposite teams in practice, so. He gets his team going very often because just because just with his energy, his fight, and uh, he brings that same. You see that fight in a game. He brings that same fight to practice, diving on the floor, doing stuff like that, and it's just it's what it's what helps our culture. I try I try not to look at myself as a leader. I try to let Mike. I try to help Mike lead, but I try to let Mike be the person to be the leader. I try to just set everything by example by just going hard, playing hard every day, trying to be the good person trying to help everybody and just I let Mike be the voice and I just show my energy and if I think things need to be said and I'll try to pitch in and try to say things the right way but mainly I let Mike be the voice lead the team and meet since I'm young I still try to learn things and just go hard and lead by example yeah I think I'll be able to be, be able to look at to score more but my main focus is not on just scoring so I want everybody to score. I want to score. I just want to win. So if I had to score two points to win, then so be it. Hey, Juan, give me your thoughts on some of these younger guys that have come in. Um, I think they all play play real hard. Shelton, he's a guy that a, a competitor, like the way I compete. He compete very hard and don't back down from anyone. Naya, kind of a quiet person. But he competes very hard every day. He can really shoot the ball well. He could pass too. And um, Rudy is a guy, um, very a good energy guy, always smiling, wants the best for everybody, and just likes to get everybody involved and want to see his see his teammates do better before he do do great do good. And um, a Davion, big body down there, just want to learn every day. Even if he mess up, he still want to learn, ask questions. And he's a good energy guy, too. Wants to see everybody do well. Um, and then the guys who hurt, they're all guys who just working hard, just trying to get their bodies right from whatever their, um, their, issue, their uh, body issue is. They're just working hard, treating the team on every day, just trying to see each other get better. Thanks. Just with your experience, uh, you know, this last year, just kind of maybe take me through your thoughts on how you thought the team was heading uh, before everything came to a stop and then where you think you're at right now as a team and uh, and how everything that's happened has maybe helped develop your team a little bit. Um, last year, I know we had a, a bad, we was on a real bad run, wasn't winning any games, but I felt like once, it, once we started winning, we won the Iowa State, then we went to the tournament and won the, um, the, the Big 12 tournament and won the, um, the TCU game. I think we were headed on to a, a good run. We all, were, we all were positive. We all didn't care about who was scoring. We just wanted to win at that point. And then we got shut down. So I think that who, who knows anything could have happened when we, we all was on the same page and was ready to win. Um, I think this year, everyone wants to win, no matter, everybody. It can be anybody's night, any given, any every night. We got multiple guys that can do everything, that can pass, that can score, that can defend. So, and defend multiple positions, not one position. So, I think it'll be we got a good team, guys who just want to win, 
when is the biggest the biggest um goal and then for you personally um maybe do you do you have any for yourself performance wise that maybe will will help your team win anything that you've been working on personally um just been trying to work on shooting the ball well and be able to not not turn the ball over so much that's really it. just being being able to hit hit the guys open when they need to be open giving it to the right person at the right time and things like that just want to win my biggest thing as long as i can contribute to win in a positive way i just want to win Thank you. Appreciate it. No problem. Um, I think it's good because he's young. He's one of the uh, younger younger coaches. It's good. He have energy every day. He played in the system, so now we got somebody to go talk to that played in the exact same system, the mo exact same system that we're running in right now. We got somebody who played in the exact system, so it's somebody we can go to, go to to see our problems, what we need to work on, and how we can do things to get scoring opportunities and. Defense, good defensive opportunities, things like that. And he's just a good guy to bring energy, good energy guy. Yeah, I, I just really agree with everything. As Juan just said, I mean, just young, brings energy to practice every day. And uh, he really he really sees the game. And, and he, like, he challenges, he challenges us. He challenges individual players daily talking he he he's competing he's he's talking his trash too getting people going and um that that's what that's what makes us that's part of the reason we're able to get better every day i mean he he brings his energy he does his part and uh he really he's really teaching us helping us it's been um it's been pretty good you get to be around the coaches all day they always have a uh, positive energy so it just help us pick their brain then we also just get to learn more, learn more of the system, learn more of things that we need to do to get better and things that help us be successful young men at the end of the at the end of the goal of life. Yeah, I'd say it really helps us because like the coaches, they're they're just as hungry as we are, like even hungrier. And so like they're the same way we want to get better every day. They want to help us get better every day. They want us to come up there, watch film. They don't they don't They'll use all their time if, if they have to just to help us learn uh, all day. It doesn't matter what day, what time you go up there. They're ready to talk, help you learn, watch film. And um, that's that's a big part of learning the game. And that's why I like I like you, you see improvement from these young guys because the coaches have really helped them see the game, learn the game.